Welcome again to another Curator's Chat. I'm Jason French, Curator of Collections at the Beringer Crawford Museum. As you can tell, we are not at the Beringer Crawford Museum. We are in one of Covington's treasures. We're at the Carnegie. Uh, I'm here with uh, Kimberly Best, who directs, manages, she's the boss here. Um, so, yes, I, am the, I have the privilege of being the Carnegie's Executive Director. Uh, the Carnegie is a multidisciplinary arts organization. Uh, we have a gallery, a theater that we're standing in now, and education center. So here at the Carnegie, you know, you, you do lots of different things, and, and kind of related to Beringer Crawford, behind us, you can see there's a mural up here, and that was painted by Harlan Hubbard, and anyone who's watched our curator's chats know that we we have a special place for Harlan Hubbard in our heart at Beringer Crawford Museum. We have a tremendous collection of Harlan Hubbard's artwork. And if you watch older curators' chats, you'll see that at the home that Harlan built for his mother in Fort Thomas, the original concept art for these people in this mural is there at that home. So it was just kind of fun for us as we came here and, and we're kind of exploring and, and getting to know the Carnegie uh, to see Harlan's work here as well. It kind of all falls back together. So the, Har the, the Carnegie has been here since when? So the Carnegie was built as Kent County's first public library in 1902. That is the gallery portion of, of our space now. Uh, two years later, the city asked uh, Andrew Carnegie to f help fund a public meeting space. So that is a space that we're in now, which is now our auto embedded theater. For many, many, many years, the library continued here. Uh, many memories, and I, I know my parents have, you know, memories of coming and checking out books here at this library. Um, in 1977, the library moved and a, a very dedicated group of Covington uh, residents came together to form what is now the Carnegie. That's amazing. So this is this has really got a wonderful history within the community as being a, a place of education, as a library, and then also a meeting place as well. And it's just continuing on as not only a meeting place, but an, a place of the arts. That's absolutely the case. We want to serve our community through the arts as well as serving our community of artists. And that is very much what our mission is here at the Carnegie, both with you know the education, the theater, and the visual arts side. So making sure that uh, everybody in the community can come and experience and be a part of the arts. That's great, that's wonderful. And it's very similar to how we feel at Barringer Crawford and how we want people to experience their community and their history and their culture. So this is, we're kind of a, a similar organizations, and I'm glad that we've had an opportunity to share the Carnegie with our guests and our viewers on our curator's chats. I hope you've enjoyed this curator's chat and feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you on our next issue. Mm -hmm.